as a kid. Yeah. I was always so excited, especially the ones with the cookie. In I like it. the I like the pizza ones. Oh, the pizza yeah, ones. Yeah, they were, were easy to so make. So good. But the one thing is, it never like filled me up too much. Like That's there was, everything true. was so small. It's very it. like charcuterie board. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And fortunately, there was no lead. Hopefully, in our lunchables that we had. Yeah, let's hope. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Anyway, turning to the weather. Yesterday felt like March. I mean, with the gusty winds, it was a chilly day outside. The good news is today is going to be a warmer day for everyone. It's just it won't necessarily be a drier day. Right now we're dry. It's 40 degrees in Freehold. It's 40 in Albany. 39 Cobble Scale, 43 North Adams. You head up towards the north. It's 36 Glens Falls, 31 in Indian Lake, and 38 in Danby. We're seeing the sun right now. This will be pretty short-lived across most parts of the capital region, especially points north of I-90. It's East Greenbush right now on our Fryhofer sky cam. The reason clouds are going to start increasing because not too far off towards our west. There's a cluster of some showers. Not seeing any thunder or lightning right now, but it is possible as this moves through, again, especially north of the capital region, that there can be a downpour, a rumble of thunder. That would be later this morning and into the early afternoon. But actually, the main area we're watching hasn't even developed yet. It would be in between this warm front and that cold front back over there. In between, it's known as the warm sector. That's where you're going to have the highest severe weather threat later on in the afternoon. That is mostly south and west of our area, but places like the western or southern Catskills, as well as the lower to mid Hudson Valley, have a higher or enhanced threat of severe weather. So here's what we're looking at. Again, basically north of I-90, you can get a rumble of thunder, not going to rule out a severe storm, but the highest risk is off towards the south and west. Just south and west, I think the main threat later this afternoon would be strong winds. You go a little bit further south and west, and that strong winds and hail. And nowhere in our coverage area, but the enhanced threat of maybe even an isolated tornado is possible back towards Pennsylvania and back west towards Ohio. So today, it's going to vary based on where you are. You head off towards the north, it's going to be a cloudier and rainier day. You head off towards the south, it will be brighter and correspondingly warmer, but it's those areas that are going to become more unstable and more likely later on in the afternoon to see a stronger storm. So it's mid 60s to the south, mid to upper 40s to right around 50 way off towards the north. And you'll see how it plays out this morning. So we see the showers move in from west to east, especially north of I-90. That would be late morning and into the early afternoon. Can't rule out a rumble of thunder or a downpour as this moves through. But it's later this evening or later this afternoon into the early evening that a line of stronger storms can develop. Can't rule out again a thunderstorm in the capital region, but I think the highest risk of severe weather would be off towards the south and west, close towards the Catskills, the lower to mid Hudson Valley. That pulls through and we're in store for a much nicer day tomorrow with just a very, very tiny chance of a shower. It's sun and clouds and temperatures for all of us get to around 60 degrees. So tomorrow again, we're near 60. It is a little bit breezy though, gusts up to 20 to 25 miles an hour. I still think the nicest day of the week is Tuesday. I had to pull back temperatures just a little bit, but still I think we're in the upper 60s to right around 70. Wednesday and Thursday, it's not a widespread rain, but it does look like showers will be developing those days and that may continue into Friday as well. So this afternoon, it is 55 to 60. Later afternoon, we're going to be watching some strong to severe storms likely developing, especially off towards the south and west. Tonight, those should end early. We're dry or late, and then we're in store for a pretty nice day tomorrow, upper 50s to low 60s. It will be a little bit breezy, and by tomorrow night, we are mostly clear. So here's the seven-day forecast. Nicest day of the week continues to look like Tuesday, Wednesday, showers develop, continuing into Thursday and Friday, not the entire time, but more so off and on. And then we look to dry out potentially by next weekend. Sam, thank you. With